Okay, hello everybody. Welcome back to our series on Conva.js. In this video, we're going to talk about groupings of shapes. If you look on the right side of your screen here, we have what is obviously a smiley face comprised of one, two, three, four different shapes. Clearly, these four shapes are meant to be to act as a unit. Maybe we want the whole face to be draggable, for example, or the whole thing to respond to click events or something like that. Well, we can do that very easily by grouping these shapes together. Okay, so let's look at the shapes we have. Well, first, let's start at the top. We have our stage as normal, right? We're, we have just a single layer in this case, okay? We're not going to do with uh, multiple layers here. We have a circle for the head, of course, the, the face, the head itself. One eye, in this case, the left eye is created, as you see here. We're using a Canva wedge. I don't think we covered this before, but a wedge is just a slice of a circle sort of a slice of the pizza, as it were. It's the same syntax as a convex circle, except it has an angle property here, 315, so it's really most of the pizza, as it were. A little rotation to make it look better. This is just decoration here. And the second eye, the right eye, is a clone of the first eye, except we're altering the X property to move it over to the right, of course. And the mouth, as you can see, is a simple line here. It's not closed and it has these points that you can see here and a little bit of tension added uh, to make it look a little more mouth-like. In fact, I'll tell you what, what happens when we set close to true? I don't know. There we go, and I don't know if I like that, so I'm going to back that out. But, okay, save and refresh. Okay, there we go. So these are our the, the parts that make up our, our face here. Now, how do we group them together? Well, let's go back up to the top. Let's create a Conva group. And a Conva group, just like any other shape uh, from which the group uh, inherits, of course, it's a shape like anything else, is going to have x and y coordinates. We're going to set them just to 200, 200. Okay, great, wonderful. And let's make sure we move that shape to the layer. Now, if we save and refresh, of course, we don't see anything new. But there is, in fact, an empty group right down here at the 200, 200 coordinates here where my where the pointer is here. Okay, so now instead of adding those shapes directly to the layer as, we, as we've been doing and as you will often do, instead let's add them to the group like this. So we change layer to group and we add all these elements here and when we do we should see the face kind of jump down to the to the lower or actually to the middle of the screen. Let's try that. There we go, it worked. Remember the group itself is based here. The reference point is right here. And so all of these, the x, y coordinates that we gave these wedges and the line and the circle and all this, these are all now relative to our group, which is in turn relative or added to the stage. Okay, great. So that's how you do it. And now uh, if we say group, group draggable true, for example, okay, now watch this. Lo and behold, now the shapes are all grouped together. Yay, and we could make the whole thing clickable or whatever you like. So that's how you do that. Now remember that you do have to cache your shapes for performance reasons. Now watch what happens when we do, and just to make sure that we see that it's being ca group cached, excuse me, correctly, we'll set that draw, draw border property to true, save and refresh, and there we go. We see that it is in fact caching directly, or caching correctly, I should say. I mention this because in older versions of Canva, it wouldn't cache correctly. What happened was, for the group, Conva would not cycle through all of the child elements of the group and find out how far up, how far down, how far to the left, to the right, it should cache. That has been fixed, and in <clears throat> version 7, which we're using in this, I think we're using version 7, what version are we? Yeah, well, trust me, it's version 7. Conva does that automatically for you, and in, in previous iterations, you would have to specify the width and the height and the offset x and the offset y. I know it's a big pain in the ass, and in preparing for this video, I was all getting ready to tell to tell you how to do that efficiently, but you know what? I don't have to anymore because Canva does that for us. Okay, and that, my friends, that is really all there is to say about caching. Do remember to cache, excuse me, groupings. There we go. All I have to say about grouping of shapes, remember to cache. And thank you for watching. See you in the next one.